We are looking for tarpon. We're getting the bean poles rigged up. So in this episode, we go with a couple of my repeat charter customers, just so you can see a day charter fishing with me. We got the bean pole paired up with a Penn Spin Fisher 6500. Real, real, crank fast, crank, 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 crank. Just don't stop cranking, don't stop cranking, don't stop cranking, don't stop cranking. Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. Is that Cobia? He's got Cobia on. Follower, follower. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on over. There you go. He's going with him. Hold on. Come on over. Told you to just stop biting it for a reason. For sure. All right. All right, real. Hold on. All right, going again. Hold on. Hold him right there for a second. Look at that, Cobia. Look at that. Show for that thing. <laughs> Cobia on a bean pole. <laughs> Whoa. You never caught Kobe before you said? No. Alright, I don't see a I don't see a follower. First, alright, we'll get a photo of him. I was like, why did they just randomly stop when by? When his head gets in the net, get the rod. So my theory. So there's a bunch of catfish in it, and they just stopped. So I was like, oh, we're about to be on. And then like Five seconds later, we were on. <laughs> there he goes. Off to be a little cobia. We safely released that, put the base back out. Often when you're tarpon fishing, you have to weed through a lot of sharks. Ugh. They're liking the authority, huh? Some sort of shark, I think. Unless it's a bigger cobia. No clue. Some sort of shark. We'll just look right there for now, since that holder holds it good. On the bean pole. Just working it. Just catching big things on a little rod. What is it? Is it a big cobia? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's gonna make a move on the boat. Maybe not. Black tip. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. There we go, you sweet release. All right. Bl uh, black tip oh. shark on the mini. Probably like a four footer. Yeah. Definitely a fish bigger than the rod. There he is on this rod. We're staying tight today though. We are staying tight. This is a, this is a shark. Not our nurse? Yeah. Yep. We got the hook back. Again. Hopefully not bent out. Yep, my hopes did not come there true. There he is. Tarpon. Keep the rod low, yep. <laughs> no small tarpon right here. Hold on, keep it low. Oh my god! It's a big tarpon. It is. 
Good fish. <laughs> Luca on the mini. Look at him go. Oh, shark on him. Open your bail, open your bail, open your bail, open your bail. Hold on. All right, close your bail. Over your bail, over your bail, over your bail, over your bail. Keep it open. Keep it open. I don't see any blood. No, he's still alive. Just keep your bail open. Sharks, man. Keep it open? Yeah, keep it wide open. That was a massive tarpon. That was a massive shark. And a shark. Oh, hold on. Give me a lot. Give me a rod towards me. Hold on. All right, go around the bow. I think I see your fish right here. That's your fish right here. I saw the seaweed. Yeah, that's your fish. All right, good. We're, we're okay, as long as I cut them off from going back into deep water. All right, folks. This tarpon was lucky to get away from that shark. Luca, good job tarpon on the bean pole. As soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna pop this joker off, okay? All right. Just get, just try to get a good little look at her before she does. Here she is. Look at that fish, huh? There she goes, look at that, nice and easy, and the hook just fell right out. Perfect. Luca, good job. Tarpon on the bean pole. Folks, if you want one, I still got plenty on my website. I just handled that tarpon, probably at least an 80 pound tarpon. So, Probably within five minutes of Luca fighting that tarpon, our shark already found it. We did the right thing, we opened up the bail. I was trying to run the shark over, trying to be like, hey, I'm the bigger shark here, trying to ram him with the boat, just trying to scare the shark off. It worked, and the tarpon swam on top of the flat, trimmed the motor all the way up, got the jack plate up, got up to the tarpon, he started getting back into the, the deeper water, into the channel. So I just wrapped up on him, leader it up, got him right next to the boat, caught fish, popped it off and sent it on our way and since then I've never seen any blow up so that just leads me to believe that that tarpon got away from a shark and that's the most important thing is that we want to keep these fish healthy we don't want to feed sharks and Luca good job good job with that tarpon on the bean pole probably like an 80 pounder that's what we're here for we're trying to catch big fish on the mini rod show you what this rod is capable of so after we got a tarpon on the bean pole we decided to switch gears and hit a couple different spots. Goliath groupers are tremendously strong fighters. You have a lot of torque, a lot of power. You got big broom tails. Goliath groupers have an extremely large appetite. I've seen them swallow down a whole shark. It's incredible what they can fit in their mouth. There's, there's big ones around. Look at that. Big angry fish there, look at that. That's a cool fish, man. There she goes. Oh. And then surprise, surprise, 
we call our second Kobe of the day on the bean pole. We sure did put the bean pole to the test that day. Kobe number two today for Luca. Just going on the nose. Yeah, on the bean pole. That's fun, ain't it? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. We'll walk the dog here. All right, you think it's ready to go? Ready to goodbye? Bye bye. There you go. Happy and healthy. So in between catching cobias and goliaths, we also caught a bunch of different odds and ends. Caught this really cool look down. You don't see those often. Another surprise at this spot, we caught a baby black drum. Something you don't expect to see where we were at. And right before we left, Luca mentioned that he wanted to try to battle another Goliath. So we brought the big rods back out. Look at that. Got someone else's hook out. Buddy. You can hold this one for these. Consider a juvenile. So, as you saw, we already removed one hook from his mouth. We're going to get our hook out too. Juvenile glass grouper is allowed to hold out the water so you can smoothly, safely remove the hook. Alright. The hook is out. There she goes. <laughs> Live number two. It's more fight hard, huh? Yeah. Just like you. Oh. Almost fight hard. So the next day was much calmer. We went out with different char guests. We headed back to the Everglades. Of course, when it's flat calm, it's much easier to spot free floating triple tail. Nice. Oh my Ooh. god! Nice fish. <laughs> All right. Is that your first triple tail? Yes, absolutely. How was that? It's fabulous. Absolutely Strong fabulous. fish, huh? Strong fish. Very Look at strong. That. Beautiful Everglades triple tail right there. Probably going to be dinner. Looks like a keeper <laughs> to me, but we're just going to double check. He is uh, 17 and three quarters. Maybe you can see right there. So, fish is going to lose. He's going to, he's going to be lucky today. Oh, man. <laughs> There you go. So we saw a lot of free jumping tarpon, so we tried to put our time in and see if we can get one on the hook. Crank down car. Here you go. Wait, 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 wait. My mole came off. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me it's a shark. It's definitely a sharky. No, it's not a nurse shark, because nurse sharks don't pull cool drag like that. What? what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna you're gonna pop this line or what? <laughs> Thanks for the mullet. <laughs> Appreciate you. Come on, double line. <laughs> yeah, like 200 pound tarp and it's never sided to jump. No. Is that fray right there on that I line? I think so. When that gets close, let me put my fingers to it. All right. Or is that just from jellyfish? I think it's jelly. Could be. Okay. It's goo. Yeah, it's it's just goo. Yeah. Okay. Jump. <laughs> We're getting closer because it's. Oh yeah. We're about to see leader here in a couple seconds. Yeah. There's a leader. Yep. Big bull. It's there it is, something, right but yeah, that's on the tail. <laughs> big bull shark. Trying to get a picture when he I'm comes up to, to the deer. surface. I'm going to. Big bull. Please. So far, there's just that. Good lord. <laughs> it's a huge bull, not just a big one. That's a lot of bull right there, that's dude.
<laughs> that's pretty cool right there, huh? Hey, that's a, that's, that's oh, why you don't Lord. go swimming. This is all you got of him is fin okay. in hand, but you got it. Sharks were really bad, so we decided to go for other things before I ran out of hooks. Don't hit him in the oh, head. There he is. I like to overcast him and then reel the bait up to them. Oh, I got you. He Boom. Ate it. Real. Real, 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 real. There you go. Mm -hmm. Good job. Go. Jim, how do you like that combo? I love this combo. We got the new Pet Authority 2500 high speed with the Pen Carnage 3. I'm just going to dehook that fish right there. I love it. Good job. All right. Oh, he didn't. He didn't like seeing me. Nope, he didn't like that. No. All right, as you were. Oh, yeah. Nice, pissed. He wasn't before, now he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you laughing at? <clears throat> what at you. Why? So after making a couple triple tail pit stops, we went off into the golf to see what we could find. I got him. You got him? Good job. Yeah, looky. Look, look yeah, down. Look. look at that. Huh. What is it? That's What's a that? look down. That's a moonfish. Oh, a moon. Well, why didn't you say that? I knew what moonfish were. Well, look down. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you funny? So another advantage of it being this calm, yeah, you can see every wake on the surface from it just being a couple ballyhoo to a group of cobia swimming on surface. I got another shark. Woo. Cobias. Where, man? Way out there. Hold on. Oh, I see him. <laughs> yeah, right there. Kids, we have a little problem here. A whale? I don't know. Going hey, back. Jim, can you reach them? You uh, got one of them sharks, I think. Go see him there. He's out back. Oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. There he is. You're about to fall watch your out, fish. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh, I'm not trying to, Jimmy. Okay. Cobia, big cobia, big cobia, okay, big cobia. Yeah, 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 wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. <gasps> there he is. Oh, Who's got him? Big you? cobia. Oh, take this. Take this. Me? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Take it, honey. Um, Me. Hold on, big cobia. Hold on. Hold on. Keep it tight, honey. Keep it tight. Hold on. Hold on. Nice fish. Yes, it is, Mom. Cobia, they love to be buddy-buddy with a lot of different things. Them being part of the Remora family. They like to follow sharks around. Stingrays, of course. Now, if you want to book a charter with me, we have a good shot of targeting Cobia in the spring, in the fall, and in the winter. Come summer, they like to swim back up north, up towards the Outer Banks. But right now, I've been catching a lot of cobia. He is a uh, 34. Mm. So last year he was a keeper. <laughs> this year he <laughs> ain't. Look at that. Wow. Those are cool looking fish. They are looking, they are really, he's making noises too. I love too. the sound. You hear him? You hear that? Look at that. Almost slightly release him. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification button. We'll see you next time. Well, you tied some good knots, Bean. Oh yeah. Okay. I love that a bluefish makes someone so happy because back in Maryland, I could not stand when these things were around when we were striper fishing. Well, I, <laughs> I can understand that, but 
they're good to eat. Just set size right there and fry them up. Get that red line, uh, bloodline out. You're okay. Go. Well, I'm gonna try it out. Oh, oh, Mac. Oh, the Mac. Yeah. Mac, Mac attack. Daddy. There he is. On the bean pole. My chance. <laughs> and we got a hook back. All right, cool. Honey, you want to cast to it? Oh my God, it's mammoth. It's not. No, it is. It is a one big one, or it's about the same size. He won't. Yeah, it is one big one. He's not gonna eat. No, he's he's he is very sketched out right now. You think? Especially since, Especially since he almost got eaten by a shark. I think it's a turban. I'm trying to like scare the shark away. I'm trying to like like get this buddy. You could. You could literally. I guess you could try net. to pitch at him. Literally throw your cast net on top of him. <laughs> uh, real, 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 stop. No, yeah, he's. He could care less. Yeah, he's like, I'm about to die. Right. He's like, right I now it's time died. to. I almost died. It's not time to eat. It's time to avoid being eaten right now. <laughs> That's right. Small shark. It is. I'm pretty much for sure of that. And it doesn't want to get caught. No, they sure don't. Well, then they ought not mess with people's bait. Ah, oh, shocks. Whatever it is, is coming speeding at the boat. Sure Phobia? Or know. a shark? Another shark. It's a shark. You got him whipped, honey. Huh? Oh my God, he's got the foot, he's got the fish in his mouth still. <laughs> I'm on. There he goes. All right, shark number 15. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we used to do that to the pigs in I Alabama. Guess. What? I guess. <laughs> If you would like to book a charter or if you'd like to buy a bean pole, go on beansportfishing.com.